Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm working on this 2014 i3. This is the same. Uh, probably already have uploaded a video for you guys about replacing the socket cable, which this panel has to be removed and everything. If you want to watch that video, just go and look into the channel and you will be able to see that. Very nice, very uh, good repair. After that, we also have a problem with this vehicle that I cannot talk using BMW original scanner. If I connect iScan or Autel, I have no issues with it as long as or as far as communication because I can establish the communication read falls and everything. The reason I want to use the original software is because this vehicle has uh, uh, over temperature on the e-machine, again, for the electric part. And I need to use the original scanner to do programming updates and everything with the original software. So we are not going to, uh, you know, assume that something is good and then we get burn because of that. So I like to use always original software and scanners as much as I can to correct situations like this. So we replace the BDC because uh, that's what my end result diagnostics he gave me to, to do because again, it's only with BMW, but I can see problems on the can high, not in the can low, but in the can high. But again, what the computer is seeing is the sum of, well, not the sum, the, the total of these two uh, can high and can low, and then um, interprets that signal. So let me just show you what I have here uh, before I can show you everything. Let me just make sure I can cover the computer. I'm sorry, not the computer, the customer's information. Yeah, so you can see. All right, so this is, again, what I was doing my test. Uh, we can see this ringing in here. Um, not sure, I don't remember which one was kind of high or kind of low, but the other thing that I can see is that the total voltage is almost 2.6 2. volts, and then the acknowledgement bit, which is at the end of the message, is too low. Well, it's not really too low, it's too low because the rest is very high, and we got this ringing in there. So I'm okay, something else is in here, so I uh, keep going with the testing, so let me uh, just show some pictures of where the BDC is located. All right, so to get access to the BDC, it's on the passenger side. You need to grab the fuse box. This will, this has a T30 right here. You have to remove and then get it out. I'll just disconnect the battery, disable first the uh, electric part and then the 12 volts. And then to connect, you connect the 12 volts first and then enable the hybrid part or electric part, right? Uh, when you do that, the next one is uh, that's just the two terminator resistors out here, one for the K can and another one for the PT can, not for the D can. So this is with your tell connected. Uh, we can see now the acknowledgement bit being high. Why is this happening? Why can I talk with an aftermarket scanner and not with the original scanner? Well, the situation or the reason is because lots of aftermarket scanners that have a built-in uh, terminating resistors that can be switched on and off to clean a signal and that's exactly what we're seeing in here and as you can see now the voltage even at the beginning is two two volts so through capacitors and resistor because it's not just resistor but i'm making it you know simple because we're not going in depth with that real signal but now you can see it's, it's two volts and we have the acknowledgement bit, even though the signal is not that clean because if we see can high and can low, I mean, this is still a little weird, but our computer is happy with it. And that's all I care, right? But that's not all I care because I need to, again, work with the vehicle. So let me get the image out because I don't want to. All right, so I want to share this. This is what I get stuck every single time what I'm going to try to scan the vehicle. I can leave this car connected for eight hours. It will never pass that exact test because the way the ISA works when it's trying to communicate with a vehicle, it also perform quick tests to talk to modules and get responses and everything. And so it's also communication. This is the one I get stuck and it never passes in there. It did one and that's it. Uh, what else? This is just pictures for that wire and I replace. Uh, this is just me. I always like to measure the gaps of the panels and everything goes back in place exactly as it was. 
uh, more on the cable. Sorry, I'm going back and forth, but yes, I have to protect the customer information. And that is still the old one. All one, more of the disassemble. i sorry if they take the time for this. I should stay with what was I doing. And that's the cable out. All right, so, but now I'm using the, um, I'll tell uh, BCI and I'm checking the remove bed. But again, the one in the car is doing the exact same thing. So I have here uh, the BDC, this is the BDC, and I am providing the powers, the grounds, and can high and can low DCAN. Remember, this is a gateway, so it will communicate to the scanner only in between them, and then the communication for the vehicles and PT CAN and other networks that are not there, right? So with this, I wanna take you over to AIR, again, BMW AIR. Uh, what I need from this is, Pretty simple, three grounds, we can see in connector four, connector five, and connector three, connector three, pin six, connector five, pin 25, connector four, pin 33, those are the grounds, and then powers that I'm supplying in connector four, pin six, and in connector three, pin 33. For the CAN bus, so the CAN, uh, let me just go back to the actual uh, diagrams. I go over to, I think it's an eight. That's what the DLC, X6, that's the way BMW names it. Uh, so we have right here, this is again, if I establish that, it shows that's the DLC, right? So we can see, again, decan high and decan low, going into pins far, uh, 45 and 46 in connector eight. That is, again, A258. I already know, and it's pretty simple if you're doing these VDCs. Every connector is marked. It's a little hard to see on the video because it's white on white, but you have a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it all mark. So it's pretty easy that way to, to know what you're doing or where you're connecting to. All right, so this is what I see. This is Khan High. I'm gonna play it. So you guys can see there is a, a live, uh, okay, what happened here? And I lost communication, so give me one second because it either went to sleep or something got disconnected, so give me one second. Or I need to do this power up, so I went to sleep because it wasn't being used, but yeah, so this is Canlo, and we can see in Canlo a nice signal as far as uh, the look, right? So if we go from here, values are not really what I would like to see because again, as we can see it's going from 1.3 to 2.4. So it's 1 point, 1 1.10 difference in between each, you know, low and high on the signal, but that is a nice, it's a normal looking. I will be okay with that. All right, so if we play that, but if we go over to Khan High, let me, again, we said this again. All right, if we see that, I stopped the video. Now I'm gonna have to edit it, but yeah. So if we see now the communication on Khan High, let me st stop this. This is what we're seeing. I mean, what is this? You see what I mean? That is not a communication. This is nothing in there. This is Khan High. So the voltage is first not right, because we can see we got even a spice going down, but then going up, I go over to the highest peak, it's one and a half volts. So it's going from 2.4 to 3.9. And you see what I'm talking about? So what kind of signal is this? So this is no good. And everything is connected as it's supposed to. Let me see if I can play sometimes the steps. Yeah, when recessive, it's just not liking because it's not being able to talk to any of the other modules. But yeah, all I gotta do is disconnect it. Let it reset. I mean, if you do it for 10 minutes or so, I will establish, try to establish communication again with everything. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Remember, we have nothing else connected. This time the voltage is different, but I mean, this is again, live, live connected. You see what I'm talking about? This is no good. So yeah, I don't care how many VDCs BMW sends me, as long as I get this, this uh, type of can high, I will not be able to establish communication with ISTA. So I think that we are going to send scenes. We got this uh, BDC from the dealer. This is not an aftermarket on program or nothing. I mean, we did, did pro program it because that was accepted when I got it, but then crash. Um, and then um, 
now we're sending it probably to the dealer to get resolved because it's their part deal with that right all right guys uh this is just so you guys can see what i've been working on it's uh fun to start you know with hard ones like this one sometimes you really pull your hair off to think and think and think and i come up with the idea of doing this but yep so if you have any problems with vdc try to do this i do a lot of bench tests on my lab and i am very good on this so i am like you know what let me try that and i got i got the car completely out of the equation this is not connected to anything right and it's doing the same so and i can i uh, forgot to show you that on the picture so before i go away let me show you that that indeed is the same thing that we have on the folder uh 16 yeah right here let me show you this i took from the 16 uh you can see the date right here 223 11 16 so that's last week again kind of low and I i'm not sure i have to go forward or backwards yeah forward and then kind of high again the same nonsense happening in there and we can see the date 20 2023 11 16 today is the 20 at 4 4 4 p.m all right guys thank you so much for visiting the channel don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye bye